Hi everybody, how are you this afternoon? Welcome back to my channel. It's an Amber thing. I am Amber. I had wanted to hop on and talk to you a little bit about 1914. What do you think of this date? I was watching, I think it was Born in Ex Jehovah's Witnesses, um, a video that he did. I think it was like his third video, a really good video. Um, and he was talking about some of some things regarding 1914 and I was kind of confused a little bit because I was like wait a second this isn't what I remember them teaching so there must have been some new light that has come up with regards to 1914 but I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about what I had learned 1914 what that date was what it represented and why it was so so important to the Jehovah's Witnesses so <clears throat> um, I remember this this has always been like such a serious very important date 1914 and what it was representing at the time when I was involved with the witnesses was uh, the date that Jehovah God had hurled Satan down from the heavens to the earth so it was the date that was meant to be the beginning of of the end. So way back um, when Charles Taze Russell was involved, um, he had started, and I remember this in different publications, not just one, but different publications where they would show pictures of, you know, the, the trucks that they had, that ha they were like heralding the message um, that this was the beginning of the end, that there was going to be um, destruction coming you know in the future and I think this is kind of really important because it really set forth a precedence for gaining new members um, I had done some research you know way back and I remember that research showing that every time there was a proclamation that the end was coming that there would be a influx of new parishioners or new Bible students and lots more contributions, which means their corporation, you know, would increase or get bigger and do better. So it was originally 1914 was the number um, that was given because, and I, you know what, now that I go to think about it, I'm not sure if it was Charles Taze Russell. It had to have been because <clears throat> the... The date was calculated using the Pyramid of Giza, and it was supposed to give um, like a future date of the beginning of the end. Any, in any event, Satan was hurled down from heaven at that time and started to, you know, rain down chaos on the world. And I remember them used, they used to say, you know, how things had really gotten bad for the world in 1914 that so many horrible things had had happened there was wars and this and that and everything else and this is what they used you know in order to to get people to come in and to sign up to buy in um and <clears throat> so you know with all of the the new light and I would really love to hear a little bit more about you know what the new light is with regards to 1914 but I really thought it was important to kind of put it out you know, in the cosmos, <laughs> what what I had remembered, because even looking back through some of the other videos that I've seen on YouTube about the subject, um, there have been some changes, and I think, I'm not sure, um, somebody could maybe chime in and leave me a comment about this, but I think that there has been literature and things like that that maybe have been destroyed or no longer exist because of the changes or the new light that's taken place, but... Um, it's really interesting because if you go back and you look at it, you can look it up, you can, you can Google anything, but you can look it up um, and it actually shows like the number of Bible students at that time and then each time they herald a new message um, that the end is coming, there's such a humongous rise in the amount of Bible students or publishers that, you know, come into the organization or the congregations. And so it really is... Um, 
something that they use in order to expand their corporations. And not that they, I don't know, you know, I don't know what they really think. I know that, you know, on the, the level of the congregations, I know that the publishers, you know, truly believe that, that the end is coming like tomorrow or the next day or, you know, it could, it's like a thief in the night. It's going to come anytime. So I don't so much, you know, believe that stuff anymore. I mean, I know that, that we are in, you know, severe times right now. And I know that there's a lot of references to, you know, different scriptures in the Bible where it does speak of the end times. Um, I don't necessarily believe that it's going to be destruction to our world. You know, I think that, and I, and I definitely don't believe that it's just going to be Jehovah's Witnesses that um, survive this destruction. I think that, that God equally made every living being on this planet. And, you know, it, I don't think a loving God would just go in and destroy everything. And I'm not saying that um, there isn't plenty of evil going on and that we don't need, you know... We are, we are in, in desperate need of some changes, but I don't think it's going to be in, you know, such a way that they are scaring people to think. What's really sad, I think, about religion these days, and, and maybe always, uh, and one of the reasons why I don't believe in organized religion whatsoever is because it, it's driven by fear. Fear is, is very low vibrational and um, can keep you stuck in, you know, in a ton of, in a world of hurt, honestly. So I don't believe in that. And so any of that fear-based stuff, um, you know, I just try, I try and throw that out. But in any event, that was what I remembered about 1914. I wanted to share it with you all. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please subscribe. Share with somebody who can benefit from the messages. And hit the bell so you know when I make new videos. I am going to get out of this heat. It's hot. I'm starting to sweat. <laughs> you enjoy your day, and we'll talk soon. Bye-bye.